Gemini, welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the year of 2023. Uh, let's just work out how we're going to be doing this. This is the overall energy for the year. These are the karmic messages which seem to be really important this time around uh, for your relationship side and for your financial sort of side. So this is for the January through to um, January through to March, April through to June, July through to September, October through to December. And then we will be doing probably a little bit of clarification on some of the cards, uh, depending on which sort of situation comes out. And also we're sitting on a ley line here, so we're going to get a message from the Earth's energy at the end of the reading. Uh, so let's just jump straight in here. Let's see what's going on with your overall energies for the year. There's this a death and rebirth, basically. Uh, it seems like this. It's a whole new chapter opening up for you, um, and I wouldn't procrastinate about it. I wouldn't wait around. I wouldn't be caught being a tourist, basically, just watching everybody else live life. I would get in there. There's plenty of things coming in. There's plenty of things going out. This is the old harbour master, the uh, three of wands. So then, basically, you got ships coming in new products coming in new inventions coming in but also you have ships going out and it's that organization and sort of thing that coming and going which you do really enjoy but don't forget you've got to make out of this you've got to enjoy out of this at some point you've got to get out in those waves and go surfing and i think this year here is a bit of a new uh, cycle for you it's a yeah it's a rebirth of the rebirth of you gemini and you're absolutely brilliant gemini you know that you know, let's just see what's going on in your karmic message for um, your relationship side. This has been coming up over your weekly readings over the last sort of two or three months. It's come up two or three times over the last two or three months as well. And uh, here they're sort of saying... Um, be open to new to new ways of having fun or new relationships or opening up to yeah don't hold on too tightly um don't hold on to the past too tightly embrace the new year i think this is the these are warning cards more than anything else cuz we all, we all know what we like and sometimes we can hold on too 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 tightly to certain situations uh, which doesn't allow us to grow so your karmic message here is learning to let go for this year. And this year here, just going with the flow. Let yourself go. Let's just see what happens in the first three months. So this is January, February, March. So it's building up to your autumn period. Going from your summer into your autumn. It's a bit of a leap of faith scenario. So you're going to get a lot of things, a lot of, uh, relationships that come up on the surface that come up on the opportunities that come up and you've got to take a leap of faith sometimes you've just got to jump out there maybe not on all of them but there is a lot of opportunities coming out for you in regards to relationships here and opportunities to nurture and grow existing relationships but also new relationships and I think it's more new relationships than anything else discovering the world basically uh, that's what it seems like for you uh, let's just see what's going on in the next three months after that. So this is um, going from April through to uh, June. Love is in the air. <laughs> well, I don't know what the rest of those words are, but as it, it just love is in the air, basically. And this month here, it's you know you've you, you've gone through your 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 birthday period and it's like the renewal is coming back love is in the air looking at things differently i think looking at the opportunities differently as well uh this is where you this is the karmic message here of learning how to let go of looking things completely differently it's going to be really beautiful in regards to relationships and you could meet the love of your life but you do need to sort of let go and look at things completely differently let's just see what's going on on the um on the uh the energies from uh, july through to september there's movement there 
So it could be that you get married or you move in with someone, or it could be the movement within the family. So, you know, uh, an older generation that passes on, but then that obviously once they pass on, it becomes you become the head of the generation, you know, the, the top generation or whatever. It could be that sort of thing. Um, it's it, it's some sort of, um, you know, sort of commitment or definite yesterday and today sort of scenario going on here. Queen of Swords, very much you. Um, it's it's keeping your direction and keeping your, you know, the world is changing around it. And, and, and if you're going to get married or if you're going to move in with someone or if you're going to move house or something like that or get into um, new relationships or take another position within your family and your friends, you're going to need this direction. And it's here as well. We're talking about going with the flow. She has got the wind at her back here. And she is uh, following, uh, her sword is guiding her, basically. So allow your mental to sort of guide uh, guide you through going forward here. Um, and I think if you, it, those months there, September through to, you know, uh, July, August, September, I think are going to be critical months for you going forward. That's when those that lesson is should have been learned and put into practice. Let's just see what it's like October through to December. <coughs> Excuse me. This is much larger. It's, I think with this situation here in September, uh, June, um, in uh, July, August, September, where you position yourself. So you move in with someone or you move house or you move into a new group of friends or things like that. It's almost as if like that's where the recognition comes. That's when the group really starts sort of like getting it all together. And you can, so yeah, expressing your uh, yourself and, and your understanding of what you've been through over the last sort of like two or three years. I think it's really going to come to a head in this period here. In the latter stages of 2023 where you can um, be in a position where you're sort of saying this is my understanding and this is what I want to give uh, and this is what I want to exchange with people around you it's going to be really nice it's a real accumulation it's a beautiful learning curve for you this year Absolutely. you're going to be really pr I think you're going to be really proud of yourself and and people around you will recognize that yeah Gemini you've done the you've done the deal you've done the business you know, in regards to relationships. Uh, let's just see what's going on in your financial sort of side. Reach for your dreams, you know. Uh, let's see what's going on in your financial sort of side. There is a steady growth in that, but at the same time, it's a real sort of um, accumulation, almost sort of like, um, I wouldn't say savings, but it's it's more like you're 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 building um, you're building a, a tower, you're building a, oh, I'm building a tower. There you go. You're building a tower. Yeah. So a tower moment. Um, it's coming back from a tower moment, basically. I think. Uh, in regards to your job, your businesses and stuff like that. You may have found that you've changed completely directions in your life and that might have been the tower moment for you. But you're coming back from that tower moment and it's rebuilding from that tower moment. And I think this the tower moment is past. I don't think it's in the future. I think it's really you rebuilding, understanding why tower moments happen in our life. That is what the karmic message is all about. Let's just see what's going on on the first three months here. There's a lot of work going on here. There's a lot of um, lot of small stuff. So it's like being an ant, doing lots of different things, being really quick and being really, really busy. You may not see a lot of the financial rewards of that busyness, but it's setting things up, I think, more than anything else. Yeah, you you may feel you can, you've can got a lot of work on. In the first three months, it's a lot of organisation, collecting things together, accumulating, as I was saying. You know, that's what the Ten of Wands is also about. It's accumulating things. And that can be a really bad thing, 
But in this situation here, I think it's a really good thing. You're accumulating assets within your life. And I think those assets are going to play out in the latter stages of, of 2023 in a very big way, in a very good way for you. Let's just see um, what's going on for April, May, June. So this is your birthday period as well. This is your transition. It's like um, It's like you're saddling the horse here. And this is you coming out of the stables on your horse, basically. You're all dressed up to the nines. You're ready to rock and roll, and it's time to go. And yeah, I would go. It may You may find that there is, um, you know, people or situations around you. It may be the fact that you might have left a job, uh, that people are not happy with you leaving your job and stuff like that, going and following your own career and, and going for your own dreams and aspirations. But I think you can walk away from that. And I don't think it's going to serve you anything to sort of deal with the past. I think this is tied into that tower moment, which I think you had last year. And I think it's a tower moment within you rather than outside of you. Uh, you realisation and kind of go, do I really want to do this job? You know, I could sit in this job for the next 30 years or I could sit in this job for the next 10 years. But do I really want to do it? You know, I think that's that, that tower moment that comes into you, really. And walking away from any complications regarding the past is that moment there. And this is your birthday period where you do walk away from it, do walk away from the headaches of the past. And let's just see uh, what's going on for July, August, September. Uh, yeah. Sun is shining. The weather is sweet, yeah. Makes you want to move your dancing feet. I think there's certain celebrations going on here. Yeah, it's a call to admission. Your sun is rising. Your sun is rising and you're running towards it in this month here. This is after your birthday period. You're walking away from these complications uh, and these this tower moment. This is really setting you up and it's a very very invigorating exciting time i think you're really going to enjoy uh july through to september it's going to be hugely invigorating for you and it's that call to that mission you're off and running let's just see what's going on in the final part of that year this is where you discover the whole new you uh, doing maybe working in a completely different industry or doing something completely different so you, let's just say you were an architect uh, and now you're you know you're selling bracelets and jewelry uh, at the beach <laughs> you know it's that sort of uh, difference it's and it, it is it's financially rewarding but it's just most the most thing is it's making you feel that you're completely at one and at happiness with where you are knight of wands you're really heading off down that path and, it, and i think you're going to get success i think you're going to get financial success about it but the most thing you're going to get about it is feeling of utter feeling of security basically uh let's just see i just want to have a quick clarification on that tower moment i can still think it's in the past i don't think it's in the future it's the five of swords it's built out of disappointment and i think that disappointment's from your own self um it's the eight of cups is you know i think the realization was of kind of going i'm not living my what i want to live you know um and i'm doing it for other people and it's revealing a lot of things within you going forward and i think that's what you're walking away from this year and it's going to be absolutely brilliant for you really really nice uh for this going future as i said we're sitting on a ley line here let's just see what the uh earth's energy so i just need to connect to that Earth energy coming through. There it is. Trust yourself. Trust your inner feelings. Trust that ace of hearts. Trust that call to mission. Yeah. Trust the flow. Trust the people that are around you. I think this is this is all to do with trust. Um, the earth is trying to encourage you to just trust again in the flow of things. It'd be really nice. There's loads of things going on on this channel uh, over the Christmas period. Uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to do readings that you've never seen before. 
and it is gonna blow your mind i know that i know that because i've been doing it for 30 years and it is fantastic um uh, yeah so there's loads of things going on in this channel you're going to want to subscribe and certainly most click that bell uh, you got your um uh, clips um not clips uh, solstice readings uh, coming out uh, next week as well that's the collective on the sunday and the individuals during the week you'll probably be on tuesday and then you've got your monthlies as well during the christmas period apart from obviously your weekly readings which come out on the friday in the meantime gemini thank you very much for being here for with us uh, this year it's been a really good journey really enjoyed it learned loads out of this year uh, looking forward to 2023. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.